Welcome back! Well, we've just finished talking to Rukiel here in the Undercity, and he's charged us with going into the sewers to find the two remaining journals from his father and grandfather, respectively, that detail how he might be able to find the Promised Land so he can take the people of the Undercity there. And we've agreed to help him since we're going there anyway, to find Zalbar and to... Uh, find the entrance to the Black Vulcan base. But before we do that, I want to talk to Aigir here, because he has something to say now that we've talked to Rukil. I saw you talking with Rukil. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? Yeah. Most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. Wait, what? For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. Yeah. If Google ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. Dude, seriously? Really? Don't judge me. I learned a long time ago that if I want to survive down here, I've got to look out for number one. The two explorers who went searching for the promised land might have found something. They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rukul's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the Explorers, and the one from Rukul's Apprentice. Then I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the Promised Land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. You know, I'm glad you've basically detailed your entire plan to me, because there are two things I have to say to you. First of all, well, I can understand that looking out for number one might seem like a good uh, means to live when you're in a situation like this. I get the uh, feeling that uh, this village has survived because people have banded together and exhibited a sense of camaraderie when it comes to rat ghouls and whatnot. Second of all, if the Promised Land is in fact true, and it is as Rukil has described, a self-sufficient colony where droid servants uh, tend to your every need, you're willing to forego that, just that you can be an important person here in this village. You're willing to continue to live the same lifestyle that you've been living all this time, even if there's something better waiting for you. Furthermore, you're willing to deny everybody else the chance to see this place. No, I'm not going to help you. Don't be a fool! I'm the only one here who can pay you for those journals. Rukil has nothing. He won't be able to come up with any kind of reward. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Now, was there something else you needed? Well, you seem to think that everybody does something for a reward, but that is not true. I am not going to. Yeah, okay, you'll come back and see me if you want a deal. I don't think so. We're heading onto the sewers. And before we do that, I'm going to level up Mission. Because we didn't do that in the last video. I'm going to put more points into her primary skills. We can't go any further than this at this point, though, so I'm just going to put more into Tree Injury. You have been granted the following feats this level. Sneak Attack 3, and I haven't read up on that yet, because Sneak Attacks 1 and 2 were automatically given to her uh, when we got her as a character. I believe that uh, Sneak Attack 1 is granted to you when you uh, start out as a scoundrel, and I believe this you get automatically at level 3. This you get automatically at level 5 when you're a scoundrel. Sneak Attack 3 adds 3 to 18 points of extra damage to attacks when the target can't respond to the attacker. The extra damage is applied to attacks made from behind the target, attacks against stunned or otherwise immobilized targets, and any attacks made while in stealth mode. Combat cancels stealth mode, but the first attack receives the bonus. 
Sneak attack only works if the target is within 10 meters. The extra damage is not multiplied in the case of a critical hit. I'm probably not going to be making very much use of this, because as I've said before, I don't really intend to use stealth mode. It's slow, it's tedious, and it will just slow the LP down. And the other situations in which this would be useful probably won't happen very much. Stun targets, probably more so, but I really won't be able to get behind a target at 10 meters most likely without them noticing me. It's probably not going to happen. Instead, I want to go with Improved Dueling, continued focus on the use of single one-handed weapons, grants a character plus two to attack and plus two to defense. This applies to both ranged and melee weapons. Because Mission is a scoundrel, um, she does come with the least amount of strength, uh, I believe, amongst m almost all of the characters. I think there might be a couple, or well, mainly one exception. But I want to offset some of that, since she's not a soldier and she's not going to be gaining tons of vitality points per level and whatnot. So I will uh, try to put some points into passive feats that will help her attacks and defense. Let's move on to the Sulamps for now. As we saw, there are multiple entrances, but I do want to take this entrance. Let's see what foul creatures await us in here. Well, nothing yet, but we do have huh? mines. And as I said, I do intend to uh, sell a few mines while on terrace because honestly, we don't have much money at this point. And I do want to yes. earn some. This probably won't be the case as we go further on the game. The mines get to be harder. Let's fr frag grenade the rat ghouls. <laughs> That wasn't too bad. Let me give Karth a med pack here. I'm trying to... I didn't mean to use an advanced med pack. I was going to sure. say, I'm trying to be a bit more conscientious about uh, making sure that the uh, crew is healed before each fight, because I tend to forget that. I'm going to try to go right whenever possible in the sewers, because it is a giant maze. There's a Gamorian patrol there, and these are the guys who have kidnapped Zalbar. Let's take care of this guy. He's not too bad. Now, I know I said I was going to plan to go right, but I happen to know that there's something useful in here. What? Huh? Sure. There's a corpse here from an outcast. And here's one of the promised land journals. One down, one to go. Not bad. Uh -huh. Wait, did yeah. mission destroy the or disable this? There yes. we go. And a rusted droid. Now I haven't gotten a chance to show you this yet because on the uh, Endar Spire, uh, I used the computer to um, destroy all the Sith in that one room. The droid that was in the room that we were in was the other option, and I decided not to use it, but I will show you how these work here. Normally when you come across droids, you can choose to optimize their weaponry, because if you don't do that, then they're just going to start punching people. At least I, th I believe that's the way it works. Um, additionally, you can um, help their targeting systems a bit more. You can give them shields, which will protect them more against... Uh, a blaster bolt attacks primarily. And you can engage it in patrol mode, which you definitely want to do, because without that, the droid will not move around. And I will, uh, I will engage it to weaponry. That's all the repair parts we've got, though. But that's enough for the time being. And the droid will help soften up a few enemies for us. Now the droid is going to be pretty slow when it comes to uh, moving around here. So let's go ahead and move out. 
think it's kind of glitching there because we're not. There we go. For some reason, it's we're in the way of it. The room that's to our right, I'm going to come back to later on. But there are Gamorians in there, and I happen to know they're pretty tough. Um, I'm going to let the droid take care of them. For now, though, I'm going to check out the rest of the sewers. We got more raccoons here. Ready. They're not too bad, though. Especially now that we've got a party of three. If it were just two people in the sewers, it would probably be a lot worse. I think we missed one. Alright, let's go on to this room. There's another corpse here. No Promised Land journal here, though. And if I'm not mistaken, this door will lead back to the original starting point. But not before we, uh, can take care of any more of them. Yes. And we've stunned him, which is good. I don't think he has... Oh, he doesn't remain. We can now level up Karth. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put more points in a treat injury. As far as feats are concerned, I'm going to start investing in rapid shots. Huh? Sure. All we can do for now, so let's go ahead and move forward. Nothing there. More Gamorians. Fun. Ready. That hurt, I bet. What? Four Gamorians, but they weren't too bad. Most of the time, regular enemies like these that aren't like elites or uh, the stronger ones generally won't have anything on them. There are plenty of exceptions to that, of course, but these ones at least do not have anything on them. I haven't been here yet. I'm, I know I'm totally uh, going against what I said about going to the right all the time. But I figured I'd go ahead and explore this area first. More Rakuls. Alright, the free flurry is really working. And another outcast corpse. And here's the other Promised Land journal. We have now gotten both. And I think there's one more thing here, another corpse. Gamorian Raider. Alright, the raid leader thankfully was not too bad. I think there's remains here, but I can't click on them. Maybe there aren't any remains. Okay. I thought I there was a quick point on that one Gamorian. One more time, nope. Here's a ladder that we can use to get up to the Undercity again, and I'm actually going to go there and make a quick little detour to give the uh, um, journal Sarukil before we proceed any further. Now if I'm not mistaken, this will be our last chance to see the Undercity. Because there won't be anything more to do here for the time being. Yeah, yeah, I gear. We're not going over there, too. We have aligned ourselves with Rukiel, who will actually intend to take everybody out of here. And hopefully on to a better life. Providing these journals actually have good information in them. Welcome back, Upworlder. How goes your quest? 
Have you found the journals of my father and grandfather? Yes. Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I, I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes, yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the promised land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. Well, almost all the people of this village. Kill. What do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! Yes. What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakul infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. For sure. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. Well... As much as I would like to go with them to the Promised Land, unfortunately we cannot, the game won't let us, and we do need to move on with our main quest. So let's wish them farewell. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen. The destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. And all of the uh, villagers are now exiting. And we can now level up. However, as I've said before, I do not intend to level up past level 5 at this point. So I'm actually going to leave Kane at level 5 for the time being. And yes, I understand that this means we're going to have to uh, hear that level up sound every time we enter a new area. But you'll understand why I'm doing this later on. And if you have played the game before, you know why. Let's heal up a bit first, because we've gotten quite a bit of scratches from all the Rakul attacks. But we have done a good thing. Um, one thing that I should mention here is that if you did not uh, heal the infected uh, outcasts that were in that little sealed off quarantine area, then you can't do that after you do this. Let's see, I don't believe we've gone this way yet. I believe this is just going to lead us right back what? into that other area. Yeah. Let's get mission to, to recover this mine for us. There's a force field here and a control panel for it, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'll come back to that later. What? Let's move on to this room. This is uh, the circular room we were in before. We were just taking another entrance inside it. This is where we went earlier to f uh, find the other Promised Land journal and to the uh, other entrance into the, uh, the Undercity. But I want to go up here. Wait, is it up here? I forget. I guess there's more rat ghouls. Let's go. I, I didn't know they respawned yeah. after they were left. They're also giving you less XP when you kill them, so apparently they can, perhaps they can infinitely spawn uh, when you come back here. And we've got to take care of that poison. That wasn't too bad, though. Don't believe we checked this out yet. Uh huh. What? Wow. 
what? I forget what scene, but I think it's just, yeah, another circular room. Uh huh. Yeah? More ragdolls. We haven't faced these ones yet, but they're still getting us that same number of XP, so maybe what I said earlier wasn't true. It's kind of hard to keep up with the way the game handles XP. Another door. I'm not sure where these go, to be honest. I think... Oh, wait, I do know where these go. One sec. There's one other th uh, little niche we didn't look at here. Ready. What? I just want to clear out what? this other area first before we go back through there. That is down here. We were so busy fighting the raccoons. And there's just a corpse here we can loot. But it's got an advanced med pack, so I definitely want to get that. Other than that, there's nothing else in this area, so let's proceed onward. There's a passage here, but this door appears to be broken, so we can't go in there. But Zalbar is already indicated on screen. Can we try talking to him? No. So we have found Zalbar. I kind of wish the game didn't tell you that from this point, but sometimes it does do that. Though. More raccoons. Ready. You'll notice I'm trying to keep uh, most of the uh, crew here with one particular ability to go f uh, to use most of the time. For me, it's flurry. For uh, his mission is sniper shot, and for Karth it's power blast. That's probably going to be mainly the yeah. way I play the game for the most part. It's going to get a little bit more complicated later on, but for now I'm trying to keep it pretty simple. Yes. Another corpse here, and a skeletal corpse. Minor stuff, but still useful nonetheless. This door, yeah. we have to use security on, and for some reason it's not selecting. Okay, that's kind of weird. Can we get it from here? Uh, mission, can we open the door? There we go. No? Okay, for some reason this door is not unlockable. There we go. Simple. And there's our droid buddy. Uh, hey there. Hey Karth, can I can I talk to you for a second? Are you ready to have a civil chat? Or is this gonna be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. Ugh, I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm I'm sorry about what I said too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through, but I shouldn't take it out on you. That's good. I am glad that uh, the two of them are making up. <laughs> the second option is pretty mean. Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. Aww. He might think it, but... He's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Karth. Well, that's no big deal. I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? <laughs> Listen, you... <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Karth. For an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. I'm glad the two of them sure. are friends now. That's good. I always like my party to be, uh... Wait, this is the room we came from, right? Yes. I always like my party to get along. There's a weapons locker here. What's inside it? Uh -huh. Oh, let's use security yeah. on it. Why not? Bashing things will become a little bit easier Simple. as we go forward. 
We got a bunch of grenades here, which is awesome. A med pack. A scope, which we can use once more on another gun. Zalbar's bowcaster. And some Pazic cards. Nice. Definitely sure. a lot of good stuff there. And... Zalbar! Yay! I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. Woohoo! These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have gotten you out. Good to meet you, again. Life debt? Wait, you mean like the a Jar Jar Binks kind of life debt? A life debt? You sure about that, Big Z? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. Aw, that's sad. <laughs> I like this option. No, we are definitely not going to say that. But yeah, it does sound sound like some kind of loyalty vow. A life debt is the most solemn vow a wookie can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. Aww. I am honored to accept it. It's great to have a Wookiee by our side, and I am glad we can enlist his services. And that he is voluntarily agreeing to help us. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. I am glad to have both of them aboard, not just Mission, but also Zalbar. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Vulcan base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a backdoor into that scum den. Goody. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Ranker monster isn't still there. Wait, what? There used to be a Ranker monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge. Luckily, the rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. I don't like the sound of this, but sometimes a guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. Wait, I thought she said the Northeast. Well, Zalbar is with us now, and our party of three has now become four. But right now, we can only select two of them to join us. And I am going to actually choose both Mission and Zalbar. I'll leave Karth behind for the time being. And because Zalbar has now joined our party, that means that we can level him up. <laughs> he will roar every time we click on him. Zalbar, as you can see here, has a very high strength and constitution, which will make him quite a strong member of our party. And as such, I do want to give him quite a bit in treat injury. Mainly just because I want him to be a tank. I really want to uh, max out Zalbar's strength and... Uh, tenacity, so to speak, as much as possible. So I think I'll keep the points at that for now. 
As far as feats are concerned, I think I will give him two weapon fighting, actually. Er, wait. He already has two weapon fighting. Sorry about that. I'll give him improved two weapon fighting. Oh, wait. I did select that. I'm sorry about that. Actually, no. I am going to give him... Hmm. I am trying to decide here. Yeah, I'll give him two weapon fighting. Why not? And now that Zalbar is with us here in our party, I'm going to equip him. We can't put any clothing on him, but he won't need it. He also, I, for the most part, at least I think uh, entirely, I don't believe he can have implants at all. I think I will give him... Missions Vibroblade. And a short sword. I think that will do for the time being. What? Because Mission is going to be a ranged character. Huh? We're not going to have her use Viber Blades. What? And I believe we've actually explored everything we can explore here. I don't think there's anything else to do. That's just a dead end. I'm just looking at the mini map to see what we haven't filled in yet. But the force field was somewhere up here in the northeast. And it is right here. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I All right. Them off the pocket of a black Volker who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. Mission sure knows how to get around. And you do need to have her in your party with you at this point, and also when you free Zalbar. Because she won't be able to open up, or no one else will, will will be able to open up that door for you or this force field. More Gamorians, great. It looks like they're fighting Rackles already. Right there. That will help, help take care of, our, of some of our problems right there. And Zalbar is going to town. Damn. We're making short work of these guys. When I first played this game, I had a terrible, terrible character build, and I was really bad when it came to fights. More mines. Huh? Let's enlist mission for this. And a couple of what? corpses. Let's see what they've got to offer us. The Sith has just a couple of antidote kits, probably for one of their scouting trips for the Ragouls when they were looking for the uh, escape pods. And we've got a ladder here, but this ladder is blocked. We can't uh, go through it. So let's continue looking around. Perhaps we'll find something else. We haven't tried this door yet. Let's try going through here. More Gamorians. Come on, Zalbar. I know you don't like these guys. Yeah? Yes? I'm gonna use a med pack to heal up a bit. There we go. Let's see what's behind this door. Another circular circular room. Malfunctioning droid, okay. <laughs> it's kind of odd. Yeah? Thankfully, nobody stepped into the mine here. I'm really happy about that. That's the problem when you have mines right with you there when you're in the middle of a fight. Sure. For the most part, the upper sewers are pretty straightforward, but it's not quite as much of a maze. Another raid leader here. Okay, there are a lot more of these guys than I was thinking. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I thought there were only two, but apparently there were three of them. 
No ladder here, but there's another corpse. Minor stuff. Come on, guys. There we go. No remains on these guys. That's alright. And I think this is the only other door, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because that's where we came from. And if I remember correctly, this is ultimately yeah. where we need to go. To face the dreaded Rancor monster. Let's heal up a mission a bit. Sure. And kill a bit. I'm trying to remember that. I'm really bad at remembering that. Hey, Big Z. We gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. <laughs> I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. He probably needs them, too. Oh. Well, oh, that might explain the smell. Ew. No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Good morning, smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. <laughs> Oh, why not? Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Aw. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. I love the squad mate, er, squad mate, the uh, party member to party member dialogue. There's a severed arm here. That doesn't exactly bode well. But it has a synthesized odor as well as a Beck data pad. Apparently one of the hidden Becks was here, perhaps trying to discover a way into the Falker base. Let's see what this data pad has to say. This data pad seems to detail plans the hidden Beck had to get into the Black Falker base. Of note is the following. We have synthesized a substance with an odor that resembles a favorite favorite prey of rancors. If we place the bait properly, we can lure the rancor into eating something lethal enough to kill it. That sounds like a good plan. And there is the rancor. Well, Mission may have been able to sneak past it, but I know that not all three of us can. Let's see what we can do here. There's a couple of things here, but what I really want to do here is to put in the odor so we can lure it here. And yes, you had to switch to give item to put this here, and it, this took me forever to figure out. For some reason, I do not know why, I could not figure this out for the longest time. Wait, I meant to put a grenade in there first so I could... oops. <laughs> I didn't realize he would come in right away there. Okay, let's... What? Sure. Let's put in the grenade first, and then put in another odor. My bad. Let's see, where are you? Grenades... We'll use a frag grenade. And now the odor. I, I forgot that the game automatically goes to that cutscene as soon as you put the odor in. This time we should be in the clear. So yes, I was stuck here for a long time trying to figure this out. <laughs> and the rancor is down. All right, a little ingenuity always helps in a situation like this. Yeah. Yes. Can we find anything on it? No, but we can slash its remains. And it simply disappears. Let's see what it was guarding here. A sewer door and Volker guards. 
Well, it looks like we've found the entrance to the Valkyrie base. These guys have energy shields, but they're not super difficult. And I'm trying to get Zalbar to, to fight this guy. Okay, for some reason, this isn't going too well. Okay, I thought these guys were a little easier than that, but apparently not. Well, we have discovered the entrance to the Black Volker base, and we will go there in the next video.